Hey guys, let me just invite Kristen really quick because I'm getting used to this whole double live thing. <sighs> I'm wearing my new craft dress. Ooh, jump in, Kristen. I'm inviting you. I think I had the thing set up. Did you get the kids in bed? Yeah. Yeah. Leo's sleeping and Vince <laughs> has Charlie right now. Woo Hello. Are you wearing your new swing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I didn't claim it yet. I'll do the <laughs> I'll do the business thing and I'll give everybody a chance. That's right. But you're wearing one of the new swings, which is really cool. Correct. They're super long. Here, let me see if I can show you. They're like, I feel like they're way longer than before. Like, this is a small. This is where it hits my knee. Oh, that is really long. Yeah. That's definitely longer than before, because usually they don't hit that long. Mm -mm. I noticed that about my, I have the white printed one, and I was wearing it earlier today, and I noticed even the small is pretty long on me. It's almost like dress length. It's really cute. Oh, my bangs are like hot <laughs> right now. So how's your day? All right. Good. How was yours? It was good. It was one of those like toddler mom days. <laughs> yeah. So what goodies do you have or do you want me to show off my goodies? Um, so mine are pretty quick. I feel like you probably have more than I do. So let's go through mine. So I have this lovely, perfect, basic black swing. I'm going to tip this back down again. Okay, so I have this lovely black swing, swings, and find them, swings have pockets, okay, so they have these wonderful, they're like, actually, the pockets are really low, too, like, uh, my hand, they fit exactly right down here, like, this is the bottom of the pocket, so fully oh, that's cool. the arms, yeah, it's nice, um, so if you have, you know, if you put, you put your phone in your pocket, I have the, um, the Merlot colored long sleeve swing, this See, wearing this black is a bad idea, and I knew it was. Uh, I know, that's the hard part, is it, like, washes you out really bad. Yeah, <laughs> but I won't wear it the whole time, but I, I had to obviously put it on. So, uh, right, so I have the Merlot long sleeve swing, and when I put my, my phone in my pocket, it, like, hangs funny because the pockets are just a little higher, but now, like, nice and low down here, I feel like it won't be a big deal. Um, I wonder if... So, uh, I've got my craft on, and my craft is kind of like that, too. Like, I can extend my arms with the pockets and stuff. Yeah, I like it. And then it's got, like, this, like, a longer short sleeve, so it's almost like a half sleeve. Mm -hmm. um, I think the original swings were up high, like this little cap. Yeah, they look kind of short. Yeah, I don't like them. Um, but these are these are nice, because then, you, like, the long sleeve are obviously very cold weather. But the, the little half sleeve... Um, it's nice because you can wear them under a sweater, you can wear them under a jacket, and you don't have to worry about melting wearing two long sleeves. Um, or you can wear them in a yeah. too. So that's this. I have several sizes of this. And then I have a And they're modal. So everybody yeah. knows they're the modal brick, which is amazing stuff. Right. Like, I don't know why they tried to make swings not in modal, because modal is the best, if you like, for the swing. They just, it holds up so yeah. nicely. Okay. It does. I then I have just a couple new maxis. Ooh. So this is not baby suede. This is the, what do we call it? The ITY, uh, like that slinky mm -hmm. fabric. Um, so this is yeah. a navy. It's a navy background, and it has this, like, a marbly blue leaf and some red and pink Ooh. flowers. This one is called, I don't remember what this one was called. This one is called... Sea to Shining Sea. So I have that one. I love the side slip maxis. They're my favorite now. Right. How did I forget to say that? Yeah, these are the side slip ones. So they <laughs> Gosh. Clearly, I knew what they were, but I figured I would let everybody else know. They're the new side slip maxis. Exactly. So it's like the best part. They have, um, they're not as much, 
They're not as billowy as the other maxi skirts. They're a little right. less fabric, which I really like. I didn't even like, so I have, I have maxi skirts that are this, they have the slit in them that are non A and D. Somebody popped on with us, I think, unless it's just showing us. Um, uh, and until they talked about having side slit maxis, I didn't even realize why I liked my non A and D ones so much better than my A and D maxis. It's because I really like the slit. I yeah. Just, I just, they're more casual, I feel like, whereas the maxis, I feel like I'm wearing like a big maxi dress. And that's not. Well, yeah. And they're easier to like get it in and out of the car. And they're just, yeah. I don't know. I didn't realize I liked them until I started wearing one. And I was like, oh, I kind of like this one better. Yeah. I wore them all the time teaching. So that was like my go-to. <laughs> I had a couple things. Things like a swing, like a long tunic and leggings. And then um, maxi skirts and all sorts of different kinds of tops. But they were the easiest <laughs> to like pull my legs up and sit Indian style on my uh, chair or whatnot. Or like put my foot up on my on my desk when there's no people around. But yeah, they're really comfy. And then I have a black one. This one is baby suede. So it's just a black maxi. It's a very basic staple. Mm -hmm. Totally. And then let's see, I have one more of the other pattern I showed you that maxi. And then this one also, this one is, this one is baby suede. So it's that soft yes. legging material, but it's just, it's super pretty. It is. I have some of those and they're really, really pretty. And you can wear them with like any color because they go with like the pink and the gray and different colors of green and the purple. Right. And it's they like have, awesome. They like have enough um, neutral, like enough gray that they're neutral. You could even wear them with like a light blue. I wouldn't, I don't think I would go navy with them, but you could wear them with like a light blue. No. Yeah. So, I mean, you could put yellow. You could, you really could. You really could wear this. With like you really could. It's like, the perfect skirt. Like you could even probably do like the new berry stripe cardigan with it. If you wanted to like get crazy and pattern mix it. As long as you had a white top on. Yeah. I think yeah. anything else would be too busy. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm wearing the new craft dress, which is really cute and it's got pockets. And I like that the sleeves are a little longer in them. I can pull them down. I will say that the little cuff is not stretchy. So um, if I size down to a small, it's almost like too tight down on that part of my arm and I don't like yeah. it. That's what I've been hearing. Is really true to size unless you have real skinny arm. Yeah, and you can size it's, down. it's definitely true size. And then the length on it, I'm wearing with leggings. So it's like a little below my knees. It's cute. But I like it because it's nice, like loose, flowy, kind of easy to wear. I don't know. I like it. It's just very comfy. Like, yeah. day to sleep it in. If you wanted to fall asleep in it, you probably could, and it's really cozy. It's like, and it's, it's really like, cute. It's really it cute is. for, like, it's mom like, on the go. Yeah, and it's cozy, and I was like, oh, I'm totally wearing leggings with it. And then I could wear my black cardigan with it, and then it would be just, like, really cute and comfy for fall. Because it's, like, the perfect transitioning weather yeah. length. It's not, and then like, Back from, like, crazy. winter to spring, too. Yeah. So this one is the dark pink stripe one. It's almost, like, a dark, it's almost reddish is mm -hmm. what it is in my world. I'm like, it's almost red. But it's got, like, the perfect length for the pockets and everything like that. So I am totally in love with this one. On my mannequin, I have the basic black of the craft dress, which is really cute. And it's like tiered. I don't know if everybody can tell, but it's got like little tiers in it. So it's nice and it's definitely a dress that like, if you're losing weight or even if you like wanted to wear it as a maternity dress, you totally could because it's just that roomy and comfy. And yeah. It's very stretchy. It's one of those like great for like on the go. I have the purple which is, like, trying not to let the light wash it out too much. Yeah. That's a really pretty purple. <laughs> yeah, they're bright. And I have these in a couple of the sizes, too. So I tried to get, like, a bunch of different sizes. So I have them. I think I have one in at least every single size, just because I wanted to make sure I could have one in every size for everybody. And I have another of the pink ones. 
I'm pretty sure I have this in one in a couple sizes. Yes, I do. I just noticed it. I was using it for flat lays. And then I have the pretty bright yellow one. And it's got hot pink polka dots in it. That it's is, really cute. That dress, it's looked so much prettier on people, like, in the pictures they've shared of it than it did in the stock pictures. Like, when we bought them. Yeah. So much it prettier. It is super cute. And, like, I was thinking it would look really cute. I don't know why I didn't dress my mannequin like this, but I know a lot of the customers or reps have been doing the yellow with the pink because it looks really, really cute together with, like, mm -hmm. the pink cardigan over it. I love the pink on it, yeah. Yes. And it works. It totally works. I think if you did it with, like, the mustard cardigan or the mustard stripe, it would be too much. Mm -hmm. So I have the berry stripe, and these are the favorite Cardis. So these are the jersey knit <sighs> lightweight ones. I like them. They're, they're just, nice. they're perfect. They're amazing. I'm dying for Not one. that the essential cardigans aren't, because right. they are in their own right, but. I feel like they're more dressy. They're, like the favorite ones are what you'd throw on quick to go to the store or to run. Yeah. Just to go do things for the day. But like, uh, the one on, a little more fancy. With a pair of jeans and. I don't know. Something else. I'd like, like a t-shirt or something underneath. Yeah. Like if you're going apple like, picking, and if you're going apple picking, you're going to wear the favorite versus the essential. Totally. It would be <laughs> the one that I would wear. It would totally be the one that I would wear. Mm -hmm. Let me move my mannequin. She's in my way now. Now yeah. you're in my way, mannequin. You keep showing and I'm going to watch. I'm just going to take this black off. <laughs> And then I got the really pretty, it's, I think they called it the gold and apricot one. Mm -hmm. These cards are so gorgeous. There is a, I th actually, I think he's from D14. There's the Dora dude. He calls it the Huffle. Yes. Oh, yes. I could totally see that. <laughs> yes. Jacob would totally say that. The Hufflepuff. But it's like the best Cardi ever. Yeah. I love it. I feel like this one goes good with the black craft dress or the purple craft dress. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I was like looking at all the different things. You guys will see that I took a bunch of flat lays this week. <laughs> and a lot of them are of this cardigan. Like I think every picture I took had this cardigan in it except for one. And that one had the berry cardigan in it. But everything <laughs> else had this one just because I was like in so inspired by it. I don't even know why. <laughs> but I was so inspired by it. I was like, oh, this matches like this swing and it matches this and it would look great with that. I'm like, oh, so it's just one of those, the cardigans. And I have all of my black favorite cardies sold out. Really? So those well, are all no love now. <laughs> no, I don't have to convince myself but not to buy it from you. <laughs> I know, those black ones are amazing, but these are, like, this one's amazing, and it's so soft and cuddly, I'm I telling you. I was rocking out one out yesterday. Yeah, I was wearing it yesterday with, with a high-low tee and jeans. I'm so jealous. And it was, like, just to run around in. It was so comfy. It was, like, perfect for the weather yesterday. It was, like, I didn't need a jacket, so it was, like, perfect. It was so awesome. But, yeah, I love the mustard apricot one or whatever they want to call it it's cute I don't have very many I think that's it I think that's all I got this week hmm and I would say size down one in the favorite cardies because the would sleeves agree. are really long yeah I so would agree with that crack dress is definitely a true to size and I think the swing is just like whatever you're most comfortable in depends yeah. on what you want to wear it for I guess so I was taking pictures today. I, the one I had on just now, that was a small. That's the size that I normally would buy in a swing. I usually wear mediums in most of the tops. Um, mm -hmm. so like anywhere from small to large I wear, but most of it's going to be medium or large. But with the swings, I definitely prefer small. Um, oh, yeah. So just because like I'm not, like, I'm not super hippie at all, really at all. <laughs> so... <laughs> um, I'm short, like I have a short torso. I don't have enough body to like wear, um, my yeah. true to size, like medium or large. It's just, it's too much fabric. 
So the small works really well. And then it's, I like that it's fitted a little bit more around my chest. Um, Cause then it kind of like, it gives it a little bit of an A line. It just hangs down. So that I like the small. Yeah. The small. Um, but I very comfortably can wear the extra small, especially these ones because they're a little bit longer than they have been in the past. So um, like I probably wouldn't wear the extra small as a dress if I were just kicking around with the kids or like running around town, it's probably gonna be more like a date night kind of, kind of dress. Um, yeah. It, it works totally as a dress. It's just, it's not like chase toddler friendly. It's like date night friendly. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, um, but that's I, why I like the craft dresses. It's like, it's totally like mom friendly, but it's work friendly. Cause like you can dress it up and make it look really cute. Like you could add a little belt and like yeah. doll it all up, you know, it's just easy stuff. I love that the stuff is so easy to wear. And I was like, Oh, I'm just going to throw it on with some leggings. Cause mm -hmm. you know, cause it's easy. They're comfy, but you could probably do it with pixie pants and kind of knot it off to the side. Yeah. Make it or if you're tall, or something. If you're talking, yeah, I mean, like there's so many things that you can put over leggings or over pixie pants or just your own jeans anyway that um, they look yeah. cute that you don't have to worry about things not being long enough. Um, I don't have that problem, <laughs> thankfully. No, but the it's nice because like so. I always refer to Alicia with all of that because like she looks so cute because she's like six two. We have one of our reps. We'll have right. to post pictures of her. She's right. like six so two, weird. so everything that's like shorter is really <laughs> short on her, but it still looks super cute. Like, even the calo dress looks adorable on her. Yeah. And then, I think that, she rocks it with, like, pictures or something. She wears that, like, tomato red Joplin with her, like, charcoal-y kind of gray jeans. And it looks, yeah. like, uh, it looks like just a long tunic on her. But it's just, it's so much fabric that anybody, like, if you're short, the Joplin can kind of swallow you up but it looks amazing yeah. on her. And I mean, it's a great dress, right. a great dress anyhow, but I think for some reason the Joplin just like, is just perfect for her. Yeah. It shows off her figure really nicely because she's like really <laughs> tall and lean, but it's still got like the swing shape, which is more of the A-line shape. Mm -hmm. But then the hemline kind of works for her too. I think it would be like a really short date night dress on her because she's so tall. Yeah. She's pretty tall. That would definitely be like a date night with a hubby kind of dress. That would not yeah. be like casual. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, because it'd be too much leg. I think <laughs> got a lot of big kids to chase. <laughs> yeah. <too> <laughs> um. So I am trying to do it here, but I can't because I am the invited. But you probably have the ability to invite people if you want. Like if you look on your screen, it probably has like an invite little icon. See. Like, I think it's a person. Oh, yeah. Let me see. I was like, oh, I can. But I, I was able to share it. So I shared it to the group page, you know, even though oh, we're cool. already there. But I figure another notification. Because I went back. I was looking tonight. The event, um, like the, uh, the sale event, said that uh, 12 people were coming. So. We'll just invite a bunch of my friends. And they can all come and watch it afterwards. Sounds good. <laughs> um, well, yeah. So, I mean, why don't we, why don't we, you know, give things numbers and people can at least grab them if they want, even if they're watching it on the replay. Well, they're on the website now. The website's oh, that's back. True. That's true. I didn't even think yeah. about that. Okay. So you can um, go to our website. These bangs are like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't think about that. That makes sense. So I don't have them yeah. listed on the website yet. Cause I was, was waiting to debut them here, but mm -hmm. yeah, that works. Oh, there's my sister. So you guys are seeing them first here and Kristen's going to post some really cute style ideas with her swing tops. Cause swing tops are awesome. You guys, like if you haven't gotten one, you need one in your life because <laughs> it is the most amazing top ever because it has pockets right that enough is like Sorry, selling <laughs> well i was gonna say like you and i were talking about swings versus ruffles today and how like we both love the ruffles and i know my sister has one too um but 
that we love the swing more because the swing is more like adaptable. You can use it more often. Yeah. Especially if you don't have a crazy color, but this, like the ruffle is a statement top. Like people are going to notice if you wear a ruffle five days a week. Oh yeah. (laughs) A swing, you can kind of make it work, especially if you get different sizes. Um, But yeah. Well, yeah. And the swing is really cute because you can wear it as like a really cute dress without a dress extender. Like, I've done pictures where, like, I've belted them and added some jewelry and some heels. So it's, like, a cute little date night or work dress. And then you can throw it on with leggings or even skinny jeans. And it's more of a casual top. And the best part is it has pockets. So even for, like, a date night, if you want to throw things in your pocket, like your keys or your wallet, like a small little wallet or something, you could probably get that in there. And it's kind of great because it's got the pockets, but then if you're a busy person or you're like a photographer and you need pockets, but you still need to look nice, you can belt it, make it look really cute and make it look nice Mm -hmm. and still have your pockets to keep everything handy that you may need right there, you know, easily. Cause I was one tonight and I wore it to karate class for my son and I just like threw my keys in my pocket and I was like, okay, this is, you know, have my phone in one pocket, have my keys in the other and I'm ready to go. I don't have to worry. Yeah, it's, it's nice. like, you know, easy, which is the best part. And uh, like, I know it's one of the things I wore constantly shortly after Leo was born. Cause like, you know, when you're just not quite feeling yourself yet, um, I wore it probably too many times a week, but nobody knew cause I was home by myself. Well, not by myself, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> they're, yeah. so they're very like, they're very forgiving. Um, mm-hmm. And it's not that like, they just moo moo like hang over they don't they don't just hide they like you look really nice just in a very flattering oh, like, yeah. cut it's it's not just to hide it it's not this big baggy top it's it's a cute right. cut to look flattering so all right well like, it's said, definitely be like a very flattering like it's a top everybody notices and i did a vendor event back in january with a three-quarter sleeve when they had them for the like winter time mm-hmm everybody bought one because everybody loved them. They were so comfortable and they had the pockets and it was like, it looked great with leggings, but they were just like, these are so amazing. Like, I love that it has the pockets and it's got the longer sleeves. So I can't wait for the fall, you know, for the winter ones to come out with, hopefully they'll do the three quarter sleeve again this year. Cause it's just yeah. like, I really you know, like and the now they have, sleeve. yeah, they have them all different now. They have the half sleeve, they have the short sleeve. They're coming out with the sleeveless, so it's, like, they had the mock neck one, so it's, like, the best top, because you can do anything to it, and it looks great. Right. I really like, like I was saying, I like these these um, half sleeve ones, because they work so well if you want to put a layer over top of them, um, but I mm-hmm. also, like, I know when I was teaching, I also got really hot during the day, and... Um, but, you know, it's it's hard to go back and forth constantly between being hot and cold. So when you have something like the three-quarter length, even, um, it's not quite long. So yeah. it's just, it's nice to have the different options. So if you start stocking your mm-hmm. closet with swings, uh, you know, you got lots of, lots of sleeve options. Um, yeah. And even between the two of us, we have the different sleeve options. Because, like, you have some of the vintage ones that have the shorter sleeve. And then we both have some of the ones that have like a little bit longer and you still have a mock neck. Mm -hmm. So, which the mock necks are really comfy. I have, I tried one on when Kristen was here and I was like, that thing is so soft and cozy. I didn't think I'd like the mock neck because I wasn't sure about the whole mock neck feel, but they're nice, like long sleeve ones for Mm -hmm. if you're not a person who doesn't like to let, you know, if you don't like to layer, it's a great, they're nice and warm. I have four. They are. And I, I don't know, you, you might, well, I know, Trisha, I know you saw it, but um, I totally oh, yeah. like, gave in and kept one the other day because I just, I just couldn't not anymore. <laughs> um, it's cute, though, and it's comfy. Yeah. I don't know. They're just, they're perfect because then you don't have to wear a layer. It's one top. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see what sizes I have left. Oh. I have a large and a 2X, right? Yeah, 2X, and then I have a small and a medium. So small, medium, large, 2X. 
They're really wonderful. Ooh, we got a little heart. We love the hearts, guys. You should do more hearts for us. <laughs> <laughs> they're really, and they're, those ones are definitely, I feel like they're a little shorter. The mock neck. Than... Yeah. yeah, they're short. Yes. I feel like um, the mock neck is a little shorter than a regular swing. So it's you're not definitely one that you wear with leggings. No. I would wear it with leggings or pixie pants or a pair of skinny jeans, something underneath. I would not wear it as a dress unless you're, like, sizing up, and that might be pushing it. Yeah, I and, I, and I don't know that I would wear it with a skirt. Like, it's not a top you're going to put with a maxi skirt. That's too much flowy fabric. I would – you definitely want, like, a – a fitted bottom because it does flare out a little bit because it's thicker than the modal like the the modal ones still flare out um but they just hang really nicely because it's it's simply like a thick knit fabric um yeah but the the mock necks are a little more structured because they're that that hachi um like a, yeah i don't even know how to describe it they're like a, a much more fuzzy sweater feel yeah they're like so, the pullovers and stuff for like the original run pullovers when everybody was getting them Mm -hmm. They're like that. I don't know. They're definitely, you can definitely tell that they have the A-line shape. Yeah. And we have a picture from a couple weeks ago that we can always bump to that of me in it. And it's like, you can definitely tell the shape of it. Hi, Katie. Not that that's bad at all. It's just definitely not something you can wear as like a little dress. Yeah, no. Hi, Katie. The mocks definitely. <laughs> Katie's <laughs> on. <laughs> Katie's is actually, she's the girl I wore um, the mock neck to the other day, her bridal shower. Uh, so that's what I kept it for. It's like, I'm going to, I'm going to wear this. <laughs> um, it looked really cute though. Thanks. It was like, like nice that. and dressy. It was. But it had like, that was like the little colored one. Like, look um, like a pinky one. Yeah. It was the mocha. Uh, I forget exactly, I forget like exactly what they call it. But so this is just tan, like a tan, like yeah. brown. Um, this is, it's like a mocha color, but this is the one, well, not, this is a different size, but this is the, the style that I wore. Yeah. And I just wore it with my I denim. I think they called it mocha pants. twist. I think they were like the pullovers and it was like some, it was like mocha twist or something like that. Yeah, probably. Um, but I think that if you, I think you could probably pull it off. Some people could probably pull it off with a pencil skirt. Uh, as long as it's oh, yeah. not a really long pencil skirt. Like maybe if you're kind of hippie. And so that it shortens yeah. the skirt a little bit because your pips kind of push it out. Um, I think you could wear the mock with a pencil, but I wouldn't wear it with a maxi skirt and I wouldn't wear it with a midi no. skirt or even with like bell bottom flary jeans. You want to definitely do skinny jeans or leggings or whatever. Yeah. Um, or oh, pixie pants. Cause that's all we ever talk about is pixie pants. Oh my God. I really am just like, <laughs> dying for them to come out with like maroon or um, not yellow, but like kind of like your like your Cardi there. Yeah, pixie pants and, like that <laughs> color would be amazing. Yeah, um, or even that brown. would be so cute. Yeah, they could do the brown. Right. So That'd be really cute. Um, you have frills, frill sleeve tops. What do I you do. have that goes with our maxi skirts? Because I don't have. A f I don't have frill to pair with them, but I feel like, don't you have plain white frill tops? Yes, I have the ivory frill. I have a solid black. And then I have the navy stripe. And, which the navy stripe goes well with, like, the floral bottoms because it's not too much. Mm -hmm. And what else do I have? Oh, and then I have that black and white floral print and the pink floral print can't talk right okay so I think I think these maxi skirts so this is navy yeah yeah I mean, these will go well with the black tops um because it's obviously navy enough that I think you can wear navy and black um mm -hmm. you could also so let's see so this is actually this white is actually kind of more like a cream it's not it's not ivory but it's it's like a cream kind of color so I think you can yeah. probably wear the ivory tops as well. Oh, yeah. Um, can you pull out a frill top so that people, when they watch, if they're not, yeah. don't know what frill tops are, they can see them? Yeah. Let me grab one. You could obviously wear anything with this black maxi. Anything. Yeah. 
See, and then it's like the, the little frill hangs off right. just down your shoulder just a little bit. So it's not, it's not like up on your shoulder. No, it's, they're nice and they're like, they're loose and flowy. I wear these a lot with like my jeans for like date nights and stuff or just even for kind of casual. They're definitely mm -hmm. like my favorite shirt and they're really reasonably priced at like $36. I think they're 36 I love them just because they're like a reasonably priced top that you can wear with like everything. So, and you said that's navy striped, that one? Yeah. So I don't know if I would put that with this, but just because no, it's got- No, probably not with that one. Um, yes. But if you- I would do the you, ivory with that one. If you what? I would do the ivory with that one. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think these skirts are just, they're so busy that you definitely, I know lots of people like to do all the pattern mixing, but unless you have a really, really fine pattern, you're not going to want to do a pattern mm -hmm. in these, these particular skirts. Yeah, the gray maxi skirt looks really good with like a sage. I've done it with the sage high-low or even the sage tiered tunic. Because the sage works with it. I have some of them in a different, in a bunch of different sizes. I have, I think, a small, a large, maybe the extra large. I'm trying to look at my inventory at the same time. But I know they work really good with, like, I did um, a flat lay of it with the light sage high-low that I had at the time. So that worked really nicely. And you could probably get away with the dark teal high-low tee but I would have to look at that closer. I would have to like match them up and see what I thought. I don't know. This is pretty green. Becky, what is your normal? See the muse I size down two for myself. Um, what do you normally buy in like anywhere else or like any mm -hmm. other, you know, any other kind of top in the store? Cause with the ruffles, I go true to size, but I can size down too, but then it makes it really tight in the arms and really tight in my bust. Uh, well, okay, so are you talking about the ruffle or the ruffle sleeve, like the frill? She's, like, I are, think she's talking about the ruffle. Oh, the ruffle sleeve shirt. Ruffle sleeve, yeah. Sorry. So I was going to say, ruffle like, those are definitely true to size, I would say, especially if you are... Yeah. Um, I would probably go with, loop. if you're, yeah, they're true to size. If you're a smaller or medium, I would probably do the small because you'd probably be okay with that because they're definitely a true to size. Yeah, I would, and if you're not sure mom, between the two, I would pick based on your boobs, to be honest. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just because if then you've got the frill on your sleeve too. It kind of like, it can be overwhelming if you have big boobs and it too, looks too tight. It does. Um, Katie, okay, so you want, you want the, uh... <laughs> I know, I'm, like, trying to read all the comments. I'm like, hey, guys! <laughs> you want the mock neck. That's what I wore. So, this one you sent to your, to your, yeah, to the shower. So, this is the one that I wore. So, I have, um, when you're ready for your very cold honeymoon purchases, um, I have, oh my gosh, my brain, I have a small and a medium in... Well, like those are the two that I would make you try, um, but they're both the same color. They're not the same color I have. They're just like a heather gray kind of color. Very pretty. Oh, wrong, wrong hanger. I'll show you. <laughs> I'm like, this is like an obstacle course in here now too. It is. So oh, Becky, just make the purchase. I feel like we've talked about it a million times. Just do it. Just get the frill top. <laughs> Do it. All right. Don't hesitate. It's amazing. You'll love it. You won't regret it. Hi, Janet. So, Katie, I wore a medium <laughs> the other day. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely come try. This is the color that I have left in a small and a medium. And I, ha I mean, I have a large in the color that I wore, but I think large would be definitely too big for you. Um, okay. So I was thinking another easy outfit solution for the maxis are these tank tops. 
Yeah. They have nice wide tops and they're high. So, mm -hmm. um, when I wore all my maxis teaching, I always had a cardigan over because that's like, I don't know, the rule of teaching. Um, but they weren't the long cardies like that we have. I probably wouldn't wear those cardies with our maxis. Um, they're just too long, but with a long skirt and a long, uh, sweater, just not my style, but I would wear like the little, like the normal t-shirt length kind of cardies from, or cardigans from like old Navy. But I wore like the target V-necks or a tank top underneath. Mm -hmm. So even if you, like, even if you just wanted to get um, a tank top just to wear, it's, I think they're, they cover enough. I think you can wear it on its own without a jacket or a sweater mm -hmm. teaching. Um, they've got the high neck. This is a small. Okay. Oh, I have it knotted now because I have been wearing it, but it's knotted because I have a short torso and it looks a little weird if I let it just hang all the way. But they have like the, the armpits, not super giant. It's got wide straps. So I think that they could work really well for the maxis also. And you, they're long, so you can tuck them in. Yeah. Or you could knot them. Or you could knot them. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, or you can leave them out if you're like one of those super self-conscious people who is like don't look at my butt because they yeah. they go long enough that they cover your butt so even if you wanted to wear them with like a tighter pair of pants other than just wearing them with the maxis but yeah I have um the tank tops in red and black and then I have a really cute black printed one that would look cute with the black solid maxi cute. so I have white and navy Yes, I think so I have, we like, have lots two of two navy. Color. That's it. But yeah, I have, I have one or two like extra extra small, and then I have all the way up to extra large. Um, let's see what else. I'm trying to think of like other fall, fall friendly or transition friendly outfits. Um, hmm. I mean, the dog is going to be good for any season really anything that you can anything that hits your knee or just below that you can put with um like riding boots or uh leggings and flats um i know i'm thinking like classroom friendly i'm not necessarily thinking office friendly because i've never worked in an office so i don't have that as my first thought but really anything that you can put um anything that hits your knee or just below i would say works because then you can put just flats on a warm day you can put heels you can put um, boots on a colder day you got options we all i know i think we both have carries left we both have angelos angelos are the tank top dress um yeah uh carries are angelos three-quarter sleeve sister i guess is how we want to yes say it. i feel like angelou well angelou came after so i figure like the angelou is Carrie's baby sister like like summer Barbie wild skipper? Yeah, totally. Because the Curie dress is great because it's a little V-neck and they're three quarter sleeved and they're nice and fitted up top and they're flowy at the bottom and they're usually on me. I'm five four, so I'm not probably maybe on the average height. I don't know. Um, they're like just past they're past my knee. They're almost like T link. So they're like the perfect, you can sit on the floor with them. They're long enough and appropriate enough for like workwear. So that like, even if you had like a really strict boss who was like, you can't wear super short skirts. It's long enough that it covers everything oh, yeah. without it being completely inappropriate. And it's great that you could like, I've done this in the fall or even the winter. If it's really chilly and I really want to wear a Kiri, I'll throw my Kiri on. And then I throw a solid pair of capris underneath, and then I throw on tall boots, and the boots cover the space between my, like, where my capris end, and then it's long enough, like, it covers me enough to keep me warm in the wintertime, and it looks really cute with boots. The curies are great with boots, and so are the Angelous. Katie, I don't have any more pullovers. I'm sorry. Becky, yes, I do have this one in a small. It's on my website, the Butterfly Boutique by Trisha.com. And I, this one just happens to be a large, but I do have a small. It's just hanging up. So, yes, I do. I have this one in small, medium, and large. And I have the berry stripe in small, medium, and large. 
And then I have a couple of the different, um, I think I only have one of the, I'm trying to look, of the essential cardigans left. I have like the little pumpkin spice floral one. And that one I think is just a large. Everything else. Oh, and I have the white one in a medium. I was trying to see what else I have. So, but yes, I have the orange cardigan in a small. Uh, I was thinking you were the talking about the cardigans, and I was looking at the pink one you've got hanging there. The pictures I was taking earlier with the swings. Um, I'm going to post the first one tonight when we're done here because I just, like uh, it. It looked super cute as a dress, and like it was the extra small that I was wearing as a dress, so it'd be like date night. But um, yeah. The shoes that I was wearing would make it perfect to wear that pink cardi. So I'm going to post that picture tonight when we're done here. And you can be like, what? That's perfect. I know. It would be. I bet. Because, like, yeah, I love wait. the pink with the blue. And Becky is asking, what is the difference? Um, the so fabric. the fabric is basically the difference. Um, the favorite cardigans are a jersey knit, and they're really lightweight. So they're more of like just a stretchy, regular knit. Let me grab one of my um, essentials. And the essential is almost like a sweatshirt type, like a lightweight. It's the French Terry. So they're like a lightweight t um, sweatshirt type material. So they're not super, they're a little thicker than the than the favorite cardigan um but they're just a little that, that's probably the main difference is the fabric so these are french terry and those are jersey net um so katie so was asking how difference. do we find um the shops so i just posted our links if you can you pin that comment so that it stays um like if you touch my comment and hold on it it will let you pin it all right. Ooh. Yes. Got it. There you go. <laughs> so that's where you can find our stuff. I have yet to put um, these maxis and the swings on the website, but I'll put them up before I go to bed tonight. It'll take two seconds. Yes. And I have mine all on the site. So the craft dresses are up there um, and the cardigans are up. So you'll have all of the new stuff up there and ready to go. So if you guys want to go and shop, you can. Um, like I said, with the cardigans, I would size down one from your normal size just because they're a little bit longer in the sleeve. But if you wear your normal size, that's fine, too, if you're more comfortable in it. They it's have really long sleeves. Really yeah, it's just going to be a little looser, which is fine. If It's just going to be a little looser in the arms, which is kind of nice if you're thinking of like layering it over long sleeve shirts or anything yeah. like that um if you plan to do that i would, I would probably go over to size yeah i would definitely do my true size if i was doing it over the craft dress just because i found that if i went smaller it was a little too tight on my arms so um but yeah and that's like the main difference between the favorite and the essential the favorites jersey net your essential is going to be your french terry so and we have lots of goodies. Becky, I don't I don't remember if you were watching when we were talking about the difference, just Trisha and I were talking earlier, um, but we were saying, like, if you're going out just to run to the store or, um, I said, like, if you're going apple picking, uh, just, like, simple, silly day kind of activities or day-to-day -day errands, just kind of running around, you're probably more likely to pick the favorite Cardi um, just because it's, it's, it's not lighter, but it's... Um, it's like a more cozy kind of feel, whereas the essential, because it's a thicker, a little bit thicker of a fabric, it's soft, it's a very pretty fabric. That's more of a, um, like, it makes me think, like, an Easter outfit kind of sweater. Um, it's it's a little mm -hmm. more dressed up. It's more of a work sweater than the Cardi is. Um, so I don't know if that helps yeah. you or not. Although I'd still wear the Cardi, the favorite, to work. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. I'd wear it, yeah. Yeah, I just the vibe I get like that's the Cardi one hundred percent goes with jeans like not a problem at all. So obviously, so does the cardigan, um, the essential. Yeah. But uh, the fa the favorite Cardi is a little more just like cozy, like scrunchy. Yeah, ugly. Yes, it is. 
it is very cozy. So this is me in the medium. So I'll try to angle it. And that's how long it is. It's like almost as long as the dress when I do the medium. And then it's a little bit looser fitting in the sleeves. And they all have the little, they have little wooden buttons. And they do actually button close. They're not just pretty, they're useful. Like if you're a button yeah. holder, they, they, it's like yeah. there's enough fabric, you actually can close them. I was like, oh, this is cute. You could do like a couple buttons like you used to do when you're like in high school and stuff and just like make it like more fitted at the top. <laughs> I was doing this the other night and my husband was just looking at me like I was crazy. And I was like, look how cute it's like this. And my daughter's like, oh, that's kind of cute. And I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Can you imagine how cute it would be like in maternity pictures? <laughs> it would be totally cute. So cute. With a little like bump. It's not happening here, guys. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> but it would be super cute. Not happening here. But yeah, it would be super cute. Because like I've seen a couple of the reps have posted their maternity pictures in the craft dress. And it's like so, I don't know. Just easy to wear. Um, I feel like I'm running out of things to say, and that's no good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm well, we've been on for like almost an hour, so we're doing oh, good. Really? I have no clock. Yeah, well, yes, I do. That's why, but it's not accurate. Uh, I'm listening to Vince walk around in the hallway here because I think because Leo just woke up. Oops, <laughs> but my bedroom is right there, so yeah. You woke the baby up. Hopefully he's got Charlie down. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, ladies. Well, uh, I mean, feel free to always, obviously, drop a comment or a post to ask questions or message us, whatever works for you. Whether you mm -hmm. um, just have a, oh, my gosh, this is adorable, or a question, or a, like, a style tip, or a question about styling, whatever oh. you need. Um but all of our stuff is on our site now or will be before the end of the day, night, the end of <laughs> technically the day. So yeah. um, if you want to go shop your little hearts out, go for it. And always remember all right. and I are like, what are we like 14 minutes apart? So you don't ever have to pay shipping yeah. with us. If you buy an outfit, one piece from each of us, we'll ship it together. Yep. Okay. Um, All right, guys. If you notice our shop links are right in the pinned comment right there. Oh, yeah. Or you can go to the, the pinned, pinned comment post in the group. Mm hmm Okay. All right. All then. right. Night. Bye.